and say these stupid catchphrases like, you can always push yourself harder than you think. <laughs> Like come on, <laughs> yeah. It's like, come on, Alex. Push now. Push hard. Here we are, Alex from AlexSocial.com with a great Ask Alex Anything. We're at this massive ski jump in Oslo, Norway, which I can't even comprehend going down, flying down and landing in front of, you know, 3,000 of your home crowd. It looks completely amazing, but that's not the point. Let's get to the questions. One question about game, one question about life, and one question about the absurd, which I need to answer as honestly and as quickly as possible. Here from some graduates of the four-week natural program from Melbourne, but you'll notice that I'm here in Norway. The awesome thing about this program is these guys are trained with all the ideas from the program and they're meeting the guys here in Norway. They showed up, they showed up in their graduation shirts, the polo with the encryption, the, the little embroidery on it, and they joined in the program. They're here to ask me some questions, some Australian guys. They know me pretty well, so they should be a little curly. What do we got, mate? What's the first one? All right, how do you feel terminology ruins guys' mindset when they're attracting women? For example, saying I'm going to game or I was in a three set or I'm going to go and open her. Instead of using normal terminology like I'm going to go talk to girls tonight, I was talking to three girls or I'm going to start a conversation with her. Yeah, okay, so the, the basic gist of the question, which should have showed up on microphone and we can edit it up, is how do I think the pick up terminology, aka the book The Game, VH1's The Pickup Artist, um, uh, pick up forums from other companies, how do I think that terminology affects game negatively? I think it affects game very strongly. Okay, so in a game, <clears throat> which I will eventually do a, pro, a program on, is basically your software code in your mind that you would draw on when you're emotionally stressed. So whatever you're coding yourself, like three set, gaming, blowouts, rejections, success, the way you code those things away in your brain, that's what you're emotionally automatically going to Res, like draw on to respond in the heat of the moment or when you go to make an initiative when you're feeling like you're under pressure. So getting the terminologies right is extremely important. For example, I don't, in my mind, I don't call it picking up girls, I call it creating initiative. Okay, so that way you're getting into a situation where you have all the potential but none of the risk. Okay, you have, you can make things happen but you don't expect anything to happen. I call it, uh, the four times rule instead of rejection, okay? Because I want to leave sets open-ended instead of like absolute. And I don't call it gaming, I call it exploring because in my mind and in my emotions, I'm excited to explore. Whereas the connotation of game or the terminology or the philosophy of gaming can become tedious or tiresome or hard work after a period of time. So for example, in my 10 commandments video on this channel, I choose my wording very carefully. So you program your inner game and I found over 10 years of doing game that these terminologies that I use, that I teach you, they are the most on point, sustainable clarity of inner game to describe the phenomenon of social interaction. So the terminology is extremely important, but at the same time, I know that if you're starting with terminology from the game, you're just getting started, you're going out, you're meeting chicks, that's a great fucking start. Get with the advanced terminologies and that'll be a clearer inner game, okay? Inner game, which is always important. Good question from the Four Week Natural guys in Melbourne. That was a game question. That's right. What do we got now? All right, lifestyle. How important do you think traveling is to maturing and developing your personality? Too simple. We need another one. Basically, how important is travel to develop your personality? Incredibly important. The more people that you meet, the more you are the common denominator, the more value you have in yourself. The less you try to work others, the more you see yourself as a center point among many. More complicated question about life, on the spot. All right, so, do you think that uh, developing your style comes from learning from other people, or from, like, from the people that you hang out with, or learning through, say, media and uh, magazines that you read? Uh, it's a combination of a couple of things. So. The question was, as the, uh, the police drive by, and I, I always feel guilty when the fucking police drive by. Um, the, the question was, how important is developing your individual style of game, and where should you get it? Should you draw it from within, or should you take it from, uh, what is that shit, shit called? Social conditioning, basically, like media, movies, TV shows, magazines, that kind of thing. Yeah, absolutely. So I got my style from a couple of different movies, right? The movies that I kind of idolize or draw from, from or imprint off are the Ocean's 11, 12, and 13 movies. Also, any Brad Pitt movie, I love watching that, like Fight Club or um, some other movies that he's been in, which are really cool. I think his style is just fucking amazing. Him and George Clooney and also Matt Damon. I like those guys. I um, also like Dr. House, okay? So I get... 
expressions and terminology from those sources and I think they're really cool but I then kind of integrate them and sample them and express them through me and I also have some uh, original expressions that I always say things like uh, good Alex and th that old story like just stupid stuff so some of you'll find organically that you'll hold on to others you can sample and channel through others and if you're, if you're a young guy, if you're in your teen years, you need mentors, older brothers, role models, football stars, sports stars, whatever it might be, to kind of get you started and get you exercising expression. And then you'll kind of come into your own, in your own field, your own personality, um, in your own lifestyle. Okay? So it's really a lot of trial and error and sampling, watching movies, going through different phases of your life. The good will stick <coughs> and they're not so good expressions. You'll sample them. You'll enjoy them for a little while, and maybe if you don't like them that much, or if they have a shelf life, you'll let them go and you'll move on to the next ones. Fucking mosquitoes here, they're attacking all of us. Be fun. Cool, alrighty. Question about the absurd, what do we got? Right, absurd question. If you were forced to make a choice, would you be blinded or castrated? Uh, if I was forced to make a choice, I'd definitely be blinded. Um, you get a pump, maybe. I... <laughs> <laughs> I, I do, I'm a visual person, so I'm very, I love beauty and I love photography and I love imagery and I love screenplays, but I also love chicks. So you'd still be able to have the, <coughs> the intimacy and the human intimacy and the touch and the, the closeness and all that warmth if you were blinded. So I'd definitely be blinded, not castrated, considering I am a intimacy expert, social connection type expert type person. So that was it for today. Really nice spot. The, uh, I don't even know what it's called. Holm uh ski jump here in Oslo, Norway, and send in the questions about game, about life, and about the absurd, and I will answer them as quickly as I can on the spot, and uh, keep your day interesting wherever you are in the world. Subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you next time. Identifying all the differences, like what are the differences between me and this Californian person, like oh my god, it's so different and crazy, this is not the same as home. So, the best thing about my perspective about traveling so much is I, if I go to Denmark next week or if I go to Iceland or if I go down to Abu Dhabi you know to check it out I'll see at the similarities and appreciate the similarities and learn from them quickly 